is Sumatra and I'm going to give you a quick update on my seedlings. Uh, the last video was recorded in early March and it is now mid-April and we'll check on the progress of the seedlings. Okay, um, I'm in the basement <clears throat> and um, here are the same plants that were very, very tiny plants in the March video. Um, a lot has happened. Uh, since I recorded that video, <clears throat> uh, one of the, the main thing that happened was, uh, I lost my mom. My mom passed away and I haven't really been, um, as attentive to the plants as I would have been. I've been busy, um, with my mom's, uh, affairs. So... I didn't get the chance to divide the plants. I believe I said in the video that I was going to go back and um, divide the seedlings. Uh, I kind of jammed them into these cups and I was going to divide them uh, later on. Um, and that hasn't happened. Um, as you can see, some of these are flowering. These are the impatience, the, the blue, the purple ones. And I, I have a few other uh, plants that have flowers on them. These shop lights are not uh, normally not bright enough for most of the plants to to flower, but some of the some of the uh, plants uh, have flowered. This is uh, alyssum, uh, lavender, and uh, impatiens and um, a linaria. I think this is going to be pretty, this one area. I can't wait to see this when I get outside. So um, that's pretty much uh, what we have here. Here's some coleuses. I think they were very, very tiny when I planted them, and I'm going to plant some more. And here are all my tomato plants. Um, I've got about four, three, or, three or four different varieties of tomato plants. Um, in this tangled mass is uh, the Roma tomatoes that I planted at the end. Um, uh, that I planted at the last video. So, um, my dog is sniffing around. He's trying to, she's trying to get into the video. So anyway, um, that's where we are now. So this is, these are the tomatoes, the basil. I've got a couple of cabbages and things in there. Most of those have gone out. These were some of the ones that were too tiny to plant, um, when they went out. I've got a lot of perennials in here also. And, um, annuals that took a long time to grow like uh the uh impatience and i've got some petunias in here got a lot of plants um i'm gonna start some more seedlings uh i don't have any cucumbers or peppers uh, not peppers cucumbers or or uh melons uh or anything like that so i'm gonna start those uh in the next day or so as seeds and then um as soon as they get big enough, uh, they're going to go outside. I'm not going to uh, try to keep them under light. All of these plants uh, should be, be moved uh, outside by the end of April, early May. Um, the last frost date was uh, April 15th, which was this past Monday. That's the average last frost date. So last year I put some things out um, on or around April 15th. And some of the tender plants froze. So um, I'm going to wait. I can Another week is not going to kill everything. If you notice, a lot of these, uh, they're just really stuffed to the gills. Um, basically, I have to water every day. Um, that's the main thing. So um, I'll probably divide them when I get out, when they get outside. Um, the tomato plants, I still may um, divide those. I'm not sure because I'm going to be giving some of those away. So... This is plenty of tomato plants for me, but if I start giving people entire cups, then they're going to run out pretty soon. So um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give an update on um, the progress. Uh, it's done pretty well. Uh, if you notice, some of the tomato seeds, or some of the tomato plants are kind of yellow at the top. They're kind of scorched, and that's because they were touching the lights. That also happened to me last year. It's no biggie, no biggie. Once they get outside, um, they'll recover. So um, the fluorescent lights are not that hot, so I haven't had uh, the fluorescents burn up anything. But they will get yellow and, and, 
and uh, when they start touching the lights. Also, there's some plants that I, I haven't been as great of a water the last couple of days, so um, some of these kind of dried out. So um, you see some, some dead leaves on there, but nothing has really totally died. A um, couple of things um, that I learned. Um, one is the lettuce. I like this lettuce. I'm probably going to put it out, but I'm going to cut it first. I'm probably going to harvest the leaves um, first before I put it out. I think I'm going to start growing lettuce inside and also some of the herbs. I'm going to uh, make a small kitchen garden, uh, uh, indoor kitchen garden, because the herbs are doing really well. And once they get outside, um, you know, the, the bugs get to them and um, I, it, they kind of get away from me. So I think I'm going to have like a small kitchen herb garden inside and uh, with a fluorescent, I'm going to buy a, a nice fluorescent light to put um, underneath the cabinets, one of my kitchen cabinets and, and, and we'll see. Um, so um, that's it. Um, until next time, uh, keep growing. And um, the next video I'll probably uh, post from outside. Um, so there. Have a nice, have a nice spring. Bye bye.